Okay, so I've sewed the back seam and shoulder seams. So this is what it looks like. I pressed it really good. Now, when you sew your center back seam, make sure that you put in your back stay. And that talks about it right here. Here's your back stay. So you sew your center back seam, then you're gonna put in your back stay and it shows you how to cut out and everything. Um, and then do that before you do shoulder seams and side seams. Okay, so I'm not gonna put it in on the sample. We'll just use our imagination. Okay, so the next step that we have is we're going to sew the, the seam to sew our two under collars together. Okay, so we're gonna sew those together like that. And then we're gonna press that open as well. If you're doing a sample, don't worry about a backstay, but if it's your jacket, for sure, make sure you do that. Okay, and I, when I interfaced, I went into the seam allowances a little bit so that I could catch it on my seams. And this isn't the greatest job of interfacing because we're using scraps. But, okay, so here we go. And we just want to sew that five eighths. Make sure you back stitch. that good and in your book it tells you to cut these on the bias and it explains why but I'm going to go ahead and you can use your silk organza press cloth I just grabbed this little uh, cotton muslin and I'm going to just press that good And you can see how, because of the pattern, you can see how that um, bias is going. Okay, I think I'll press this side as well, just steam it a little bit. Get that nice and flat. 